behavior modification, uh, there's, a, there's a big group of people out there that think that they understand behavior modification, and they sort of do in some areas. But the real truth is behavior modification, if it's based on faith and grace, that's the goal that God has for the for the what he the work he's doing is he he has uh we are his workmanship created unto good works. What are those good works? Well, behavior modification is part of those good works. But behavior modification that is not based on faith and grace is dead works and that is destructive. But just to come out and say that behavior modification is not important, it's not beneficial, it's not going to do anything for your life. Man, I am just telling you, that is utter, utter foolishness. You know, if if you're going through marriage problems because you have a bad attitude, if you're going through marriage problems because you, you treat your spouse badly, then I got news for you. It doesn't matter what happens into in, uh, inside of you. That's not going to save your marriage. What's going to save your marriage is what happens um, that changes uh, your behavior. Now, yes, I think it needs to change on a belief level first. It needs it needs to be a work of faith and grace so that it's the power of God working through you so you're not dependent on your strength. But at the end of the day, if there's not behavior modification, you're not going you're not going to change the way that you that you treat your spouse. Therefore, your marriage is still going to fall apart no matter no matter what's going on inside you. You know, it's an inter- interesting scripture. Proverbs 27 5 says that open rebuke is better than secret love. Now, you know, I can remember reading that scripture as a new believer and say, okay, then if I love people, I'll rebuke them. Well, that's kind of a half truth. But the real truth is what it's saying, as painful as an open rebuke is, it's still more beneficial than secret love. Well, what is secret love? Secret love is love that's not expressed. So the person who who doesn't experience faith and grace in their heart so that they begin to express their love, their love is secret love. In other words, if you don't treat your spouse differently, if there is not behavior modification, at some point in time, there's a, a likelihood your spouse is going to get sick of you, going to divorce you, and then you're going to whine and cry to God about, God, I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, but you didn't do anything. Well, no, that's the problem. You were you were expecting God to do something that, in reality, you yourself should do. It was up, It was up to you to do it. But not just by outward effort, but you want it to happen by faith and grace. So it changes your beliefs. It changes everything about you. And it's the power of God working. 